good morning my dear students how are you i hope you all are well by the grace of almighty allah i am muhammad imran hussain lecturer in english at rajuk uttara model college today i am with a new lecture and this lecture is on changing sentences which is otherwise known to you as transformation of sentences. As I gave the theoretical class on this topic earlier today, this class is on uh, practice. So in this class, you will be able to practice some changing sentences, which are based on board questions of different public exams and the sentences will be very known to you they're based on common topics too so let us start today's class i hope you will find this lecture a bit handy for preparing yourself for the upcoming examinations let's start here the first one cricket is a very exciting game uh, this sentence is to be changed to exclamatory sentence as you see that this sentence has the adverb a uh, very and then the adjective, participal adjective, exciting, and then the noun, game. You should also focus your attention at the article A. When we make this sentence exclamatory, we need to replace this adverb vary by the word what and then we should restructure as article plus adjective plus noun here a then adjective then noun but before doing that we have to ensure that uh, the word exciting begins with the vowel e before which the article a is to be written as an so it will be an exciting game then use the wh word what before these phrase what an exciting game then take the subject cricket and at the end use the verb so what an exciting game cricket is so the answer is what an exciting game cricket is you have to make sure that you use the exclamation mark after the exclamatory sentence otherwise the sentence will be incorrect so let us move on to the second one uh, people of all ages like this game. We have to make this sentence passive. To make this sentence passive, we need to identify the object of this uh, sentence. Before that, I need to focus your attention uh, here uh, that the verb like has been used transitively here and the subject is a people of all ages here the object is this game so let us take the object as the subject then as the sentence is in present indefinite tense the auxiliary verb for making the sentence passive is m is r but the subject this game is singular so the auxiliary verb is is to be taken so the passive sentence of this is this game is liked by people of all ages so the answer is 
this game is liked by people of all ages. We are moving to the third sentence. It is a very popular game in our country. We have to make this sentence negative. To make this sentence negative, we have to be careful to the adverb very, which is replaced by at all in a negative sentence. And then the word popular is to be replaced by the antonym unpopular. So the negative of the sentence is, it is not at all an unpopular game in our country. You have to make sure that you are converting this article A to N when you use it before the word unpopular, which begins with the vowel U. So the negative of this sentence is, it is not at all an unpopular game in our country. The fourth sentence, how enjoyable the game is. This sentence is in exclamatory form. We have to make this sentence assertive. To make this sentence assertive, we have to take the subject first. Here the subject is the game. So then we have to take the verb, the game is. Let us now uh, take uh, the adverb, which is to be used in place of the word how. And our adverb here is very. So the game is very enjoyable. That is the assertive form of this sentence. The game is very enjoyable. We are moving to number five. Everybody knows this game. We have to make this sentence interrogative. We know that if everybody is the subject of any verb, then we make the sentence interrogative by using who. And then uh, we use negative if the sentence is affirmative. So the interrogative form of this sentence will be who doesn't know this game? Who doesn't know this game? You have to make sure that you omit the S uh, from knows. Otherwise, your answer will be incorrect. So that is the end of page one. So we are moving to the second slide of our lecture today. Here are the sentence which is at number six reads like we are proud of our freedom fighters we have to make this sentence interrogative to do that we need to take the auxiliary verb are at the beginning of the sentence and we have to realize that this sentence is in affirmative so we know that if any sentence is in affirmative form we make the sentence interrogative by rewriting it as negative interrogative. So we have to add the negative word not uh, in contracted form with the auxiliary verb are here. So R plus not, it will be aren't. So let us take this aren't at the beginning of this sentence and the interrogative form will be aren't we proud of our freedom fighters? Be sure that you are not repeating the word R after we, because we are taking this R at the beginning of the sentence. And we should also make sure that we write the W in small form. And then the answer will be correct. So make sure you are doing this thing. Our next sentence is, their contribution will never be forgotten. We have to rewrite this sentence in affirmative form. 
uh, this sentence is negative because the word never has been used here. To make this sentence affirmative, we have to replace the word never by the word ever. And then we have to use the opposite, I mean, antonym word for forgotten. And we know that the antonym of the word forgotten is remembered. So the affirmative form of the sentence will be their contribution will uh, ever or always be remembered. Their contribution will always be remembered. That is the best one, but ever can also be used. Now we are moving to the next sentence, which is to be made exclamatory. Today, many freedom fighters lead a very miserable life. To make this sentence exclamatory, we have to replace the word very by the word what. And then we have to take the article, then the adjective, and then the noun life. So it will be reorganized as what a measurable life. Then the subject, uh, freedom fighters. Then the verb, lead. What a measurable life freedom, many freedom fighters lead. Now we have to use the adverb today at the beginning of the exclamatory sentence. So the exclamatory sentence will read like this. Today, what a miserable life many freedom fighters lead. You have to make sure that you are using exclamation mark here at the end of the exclamatory sentence. Number nine is their allowances should be increased. This sentence is in passive voice. We need to make this sentence active. To make this sentence active, we have to imagine the subject. So who should increase the allowance of the freedom fighters? Certainly, this is the duty of the government. So here, the subject is the government and then the sub verb should and increase in active form so the government should increase then the object their allowances so the active voice of this sentence will be the government should increase their allowances number 10 is we should regard their sacrifice this sentence is to be changed to negative form. To do that, we have to use the antonym for the word regard. And this antonym will be disregard. And then we have to consider using the negative word not. So the negative of the sentence will be we should not disregard their sacrifice. We should not disregard their sacrifice. We are now moving to the third slide of today's lecture. Number 11, Jubai and Saab are two brothers. We have to make this sentence interrogative. To make the sentence uh, interrogative, we need to take the auxiliary verb are at the beginning of the sentence and use the negative word not as contracted form with the auxiliary verb are. So it will be aren't and the interrogative sentence uh, will be aren't Jubair and Saab two brothers. Aren't Jubair and Saab two brothers. You have to make sure that you are using the question mark at the end of this interrogative sentence. We are now moving to number 12. They never miss their classes. We have to make this sentence affirmative. To make this sentence affirmative, we have to replace the word never by the word always. And then the opposite or antonym word for the uh, word miss should be used. So the affirmative form of uh, sentence number 12 will be, they always attend their classes. 
they always attend their classes. We are moving to number 13. The weak students are always helped by them. Uh, this sentence is in passive voice. We have to make this sentence active. To make this sentence active, let us take this object uh, as subject. So here, them is to be written as they as a subject. So then we have to take the verb help. They help. And in between the subject and the verb, let us take the adverb always. So the active form of the sentence will be they always help and at the end of this part we have to write the object which is the subject of the passive voice so the active form of the sentence will be they always help the weak students they always help the weak students we are now moving to number 14 they are always obedient to their teachers and parents. We have to make this sentence negative. To make this sentence negative, we have to replace the word always by the word never. And then we have to replace the word obedient by its antonym, uh, which is disobedient. So the negative form of 14 will be there are uh, never disobedient to their teachers and parents. They are never disobedient to their teachers and parents. <coughs> we are now moving to number 15. They want to become famous personalities in the world. To make this sentence interrogative, we have to imagine the auxiliary verb. In this sentence, the auxiliary verb will be do because this is in present indefinite tense and as we know normally in present indefinite tense to make any sentence interrogative we need to use either the auxiliary verb does or do as the subject here is plural they uh, we have we should use a uh, do not does and then the negative form should be contracted with the auxiliary verb do so do plus not uh, we'll read like don't, and then we have to rewrite the next part of the sentence. Don't they want to become famous personalities in the world? Don't they want to become famous personalities in the world? This is the interrogative form of 15. We are now moving to the last slide of today's lecture. Number 16, tree plantation is an important task. We have to make this sentence negative. To make this sentence negative, uh, we have to use the antonym of the word important. And we know the, that the antonym of important is unimportant. And then we have to use the negative word not. So the negative of the sentence will be Tree plantation is not an unimportant task. Tree plantation is not an unimportant task. Number 17, it is not a difficult task. This sentence is to be made interrogative. To make this sentence interrogative, we have to drop the negative word not and then take the auxiliary verb is at the beginning of the sentence. So the interrogative form of the sentence will be, is it a difficult task? Is it a difficult task? Let us now move on to number 18. People cannot but plant trees. We have to make this sentence affirmative. Here we see that cannot but has been used to make this sentence negative. So if we remove this negative part cannot but and add the affirmative part of it uh, which is must then the sentence will be affirmative and that uh, sentence will read like people must plant trees so that is the affirmative form of number 18 people must plant trees we are moving to number 19 an important role is played by trees we have to make this sentence active. To do that, 
let us take the subject trees and then the verb yeah is placed indicate uh, the passive or present indefinite tense so well in active form we'll use the main verb play so trees play and then the object of active voice so trees play an important role that is the active form of the sentence trees play an important role we are now moving to the last uh, example of today's class uh, the trees are very important in our life to make this sentence exclamatory we have to replace the word very we have to replace the word very by the word uh, how and then the adjective important how important and then the subject trees and then verb so how important trees are so at the end we have to write this uh, prepositional phrase in our life trees are very important how important trees are in our life that is the exclamatory form of the sentence so these are the 20 practice sentences that i have uh, presented here for your better understanding how sentences are changed how they are transformed without making any change to the meaning of the sentences now i think you will be able to uh, understand the way we change sentences and uh, from your books you will be able to practice many more such sentences today i'm not giving you any homework because uh, this class is uh, based on practice not on theoretical understanding so if you want to do any homework please uh, may change the sentences from your book and if any problem you find please inform me through comments i'll certainly try to read your comments and uh, reply back to you hope you are staying at home during this pandemic covid 19 situation uh, please uh, stay at home stay, let others stay at home and uh, be hilarious uh, be happy and enjoy our classes thank you my dear students thank you all for having attention to my lecture today allah hafiz see you again in the next class